I tell you what guys, I am hyped for today. Guys, today we are finally taking a look at one of the most anticipated sneakers this year. I've also got a bunch of sneakers that I've been dying to take a look at. I know we're not gonna waste any time, so let's uh, jump straight into it. All right, let's start off with the easiest one to get into, a Nike package. It comes in the regular box, which I kind of didn't expect. And this is actually gonna be the first time I think I've ever seen this model. The Nike Terminator High Premium. Damn, okay, this is actually pretty cool. So the material feels, um, I guess you could say, very familiar to a Jordan 1 leather. You can definitely tell when you walk around, they're going to crease up relatively nicely. i got to say, though, this ankle area just kind of like shooting straight up is going to be something to kind of get used to. If you just take a look at a regular Jordan 1, it has a little bit more of a gradual slope towards the toe box, but this one seems very aggressive. It definitely succeeds in giving you that uh, retro look from like old school basketball sneakers. You also get an extra pair of laces with which is nice. I think for the retail price being at 130, it's really not that bad. Especially when you compare to Jordan 1 pricing, it doesn't seem like there's that much different in the sneaker and materials. I'm gonna give it a test, wear it around, try it on with a bunch of different outfits and see what I think. But for right now, I'm pretty impressed. All right, this is one that I think is just getting a uh, unjust amount of hate. But again, I haven't seen these things yet, so we will decide today. Getting that special box. Here we go, the Jordan 1 white cement. Okay, you do get extra laces in this little box here. Uh, an extra pair of white laces, which I think will match up a lot better. I mean, man, checking these things over, like, they're not bad whatsoever. Like, the materials are definitely not bad. It's nothing insane. Again, it's kind of just like what you would expect. The elephant print feels like it's pretty standard that you would find on a pair of threes. And all of the white leather feels pretty standard for a Jordan 1. You've got the sailed out midsole to give it slightly more of an aged effect. Honestly, with the amount of hate that these things are getting, I think it's a little bit harsh. I don't mind these whatsoever. I actually think that they look pretty sick. It's not my favorite. I think that the elephant print is a little bit overwhelming when you look at it. Like, it's just a lot going on. But even having said that, it's still a very wearable colorway. Like, you're not getting any super crazy loud colors on it. It's all pretty neutral. You've got the black, the gray, the white. I definitely don't think it's as bad as people are saying. Like, some people are saying, like, this is the worst Jordan 1 ever, or at least the worst Jordan 1 of 2023. I mean, these things didn't sell out whatsoever. Like, they didn't move. Like, when I checked on the Nike sneakers app, I don't think a single size actually sold out, at least not instantly. I'm sure you guys are going to let me know your thoughts on these down in the comment section. Do you completely disagree with me? Let me know. All right, let's jump into these bags real quick. This is just a random pair that I wanted to try out because uh, I thought that they looked cool online. So this is a pair of Crocs, as you can see. Probably the only shoes that come in a bag. So this is the all-terrain Crocs. So it's kind of like an aggressive, sealed-up version of the Crocs. I thought just based off the design, it's almost like a non-sport mode Soleil Bemberry Croc, just maybe a little bit dialed down. I feel like they live up to that all-terrain name because this outsole is freaking solid. Like that almost that feels like a weapon, bro. You take this off your foot and you can you get some power behind you. <laughs> this is a weapon. They definitely have some heft to them as well. Like, they're they're not light. Certainly not what you would expect for a regular pair of Crocs. Heavy-duty metal buckle on the side, which is pretty cool. Like you could probably rock these with, like, some black cargos, and it would look pretty sick, or maybe even some jeans. All right, let's get the last bag out of the way before we jump back into the sneakers. Pretty Boy Ugly World. I've actually had a hoodie from them before, so let's see what they sent me. Damn, okay, it's got a huge print on the back. That's pretty dope. Take a look at that. Take Take a look at the back of this hoodie. Uh, that is massive puff print. It feels pretty nice as well, actually. The quality on that feels decent. Okay, this is a large. I'll try this on. I'll show you guys some B-roll so you can see what this one looks like. The hood is nicely double layered. That's gonna be nice and warm. Thank you, guys. Pretty boy, ugly world. That's a dope hoodie. I really like the graphics on that with the puff print. That's pretty sick. Let's get into this next one. I actually got these from eBay. Got that Nike SB box, that purple shining through. Finally in hand, this is the Nike SB Dunk Low, why so sad? You get some extra laces, that's uh, good to know. Man, this is such a funny one because I feel like this is not exactly a colorway I would go for, at least not initially. It's actually a really good looking pair of Dunk. Nubuck material for all of like the base panels uh, and then it's overlaid by this nice feeling suede. You got that little logo embroidery on the back heel which is a nice touch. 
Uh, it's a little skateboarding duck or some kind of bird. The little question marks on the back and then underneath the tongue, you've got the why so sad branding, which is pretty dope. We've got another skating duck or whatever animal that is. Is that a seagull? It might, it might be a seagull. So let me know what you guys think of these. Uh, this is one I've actually been looking forward to a lot. I took an L, so I did have to pay resale. That's why it's coming in this funky looking box. It looks very similar to the last one. All your goodies in there. These shoes are ridiculously heavy. I need to figure out what the hell they're made out of. This is the Bad Bunny Campus. They're just heavy in general. Look at that suede, guys. What the hell? That feels like pure luxury right there. That is that is some very, very premium suede. You've even got some leather on the three stripes there. You've got that same like super thick ankle area with the leather interior. Yeah, you don't get any extra tongues like you did on the forum. Edis logo. And then on the top is that eye, that bad bunny logo there. What's interesting as well is you do get some extra laces. However, it's not the rope style that comes on the pair of shoes. These are regular flat style, but it is that same, that same color, which is like this uh, grayish sail color. But I might prefer these to the forums. I, I mean, I have to do like a little side by side, but this is really, really cool. Let me know what you think of these down in the comment section. And if you manage to snag a pair on release day. All right, let's get into it. The final sneaker pick of the one that people cannot shut up about. I've been seeing some very worrying things online about this pair of sneakers and people having some very bad quality control issues. So let's hope mine is in good condition. Beat down box looking um, pretty artificially beat down to be honest. When you look at it up close, you can kind of see the pixels of uh, the print that they've put over this little Jordan retro booklet. This is the Jordan 3 white cement reimagined. Right, the real moment of truth are they the same? Oh god, they're not the same. Uh, I mean, kind of. It's definitely not as bad as some of the ones I've seen online. Uh, you can definitely tell if you take a look at the toe boxes, or maybe it's a little bit blown out on camera. You can see that the leather is certainly uh, slightly different on one pair to the other. Also, doesn't this tag normally come with metal instead of plastic? That's a bit weird. But yeah, overall, I'm definitely very happy. I mean, this is such a clean, iconic pair of sneakers, and I'm so glad that they're bringing these things back. Definitely one of the most anticipated sneakers this year. You got the Nike Air branding on the back and that's all kind of sailed out to match this midsole. Uh, it's very, very light reimagining, if that makes sense. Like the Lost and Founds really took it to, I guess, a little bit more of an extreme, like with the cracked leather. This one seems to be a lot more toned down. Like all you're getting is just like the sail uh, back tab and the sail midsole. These are going to be officially launching March the 11th. There was, I believe, a couple rounds of exclusive access for people so yeah huge shout out to you guys if you manage to get a pair of these things you don't have to worry on release day uh, I'll probably drop a review on these things I know like so many people already reviewed these things let me know if you want to see it down in the comment section and I'll slap these bad boys on foot and uh, check an outfit together that is all the boxes I got for you guys if you want to check out what else is dropping this month I did a full top 10 most anticipated sneakers dropping this month in March and that video is right there